Marcus Rashford, he's a name that's hard to get away from since he burst onto the scene recently in both European and Premier League football. On Sunday, he added a goal to his name in the Manchester derby as United beat City 1-0 away from home. The 18-year-old in the process became the youngest scorer in Premier League derby matches between the two clubs. Impressive all the more so when you consider it's also his fifth goal in eight matches in all competitions since making his debut. It was completely against the run of play at the time as City dominated in the opening 15 minutes and it could have been a goal for them only for the brilliant David De Gea to again deny an opponent before the ball found itself in the net at the other end of the field. Truth be told, the loss of Vincent Company to injury during the week with Martin Di Michele starting was a massive blow for the hosts and one which the Red Devils made full use of, with Rashford extremely unlucky not to have picked up a penalty just before half-time when Di Michele appeared to have taken him out in the penalty area. But the way the youngster beat his opponent and threaded the ball past Joe Hart made it look like he'd been doing it for years. In truth, he has, just not at this level, proved that nothing about the way you perform something changes. It's just the opponents that make it more difficult. But in the Argentine veteran Dimichelis, there was a lack of pace and Rashford took the challenge on against the 35-year-old. He's almost twice his age. The threat of another Argentine in Sergio Aguero was always evident though. His record speaks for itself. Coming into the match, he had eight goals in eight derby matches in league meetings between the great rivals and it could so nearly have been nine in nine when he hit the post in the 66th minute. The victory lightens the mood at Old Trafford after being knocked out of the Europa league by Liverpool on Thursday and breathed further life into Louis van Gaal and his reign, even with more murmurs of Jose Mourinho having signed a pre-contract agreement with the club. It also means United are now still in the hunt for a Champions League qualification finish, with City still fourth, just a point ahead of the Red Devils and West Ham United. It's been a hectic time for United over the past few weeks, with the games coming thick and fast, so with their next match not until they host Everton in a fortnight's time, the rest and recuperation has come at just the right time for a final push until the season's end. But even then, it doesn't get any easier, so best to enjoy this interlude. Feel free to get in touch, hashtag AskTolson on view, or contact me directly on Twitter. Till next time, bye for now.